Hey guys, it's been a good little minute. Me and Myra are right here. Actually, Myra's uh. I'm doing my makeup in the car. Mm -hmm. But we are headed out to LA right now because Myra and Karina are actually gonna go on a, like a show to promote the new show, Going Garcia. If you guys have not seen that, we're gonna have the link down below. Right now we are at Starbucks and um, we have to get our pumpkin cream cold brews. We've been at Dave's so. home. <sighs> okay, so do you wanna hold the brush? I haven't vlogged. Um, but if you guys know by now, um, our reality show is out. Our reality, I feel like I said that too fast. Our reality show is out. Going Garcia, if you guys have not seen it, we're gonna put the first episode in the link down below. Um, but right now, we are gonna be on a show. I'm honestly like freaking out. I've never gone, oh my God, this lighting is crazy. I've never gone on a show. Um, you guys have seen like behind the scenes that like when we go with Karina, but this time it's gonna be me and her, and um, we're gonna talk about the show and stuff. Holy crap, I'm freaking out. A little behind the scenes. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, my. Oh. oh, like the lighting went so freaking dark on you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My feathers, like, not. This is a disaster. Okay. Okay, guys, we are done. That was so fun. Like, the lady was really sweet. We're actually not nervous at all whatsoever. So I was like, yay. Okay, guys, so we're back home. My mom actually ate. made pozole. So I kind of had just a gadlo because, um,. Today's like my first day of like trying to choose because bitch, I'm like, I need to like reboot myself. Um, so let's see how long I do this juicing for. But I'm gonna go buy some juices. And I had a coffee too this morning. I'm not doing this correctly. Don't judge. Hello, focus. There we go. But my dad is actually building a freaking whole ass house for the dog. Okay guys, so I don't know if you guys can see, we have like a new bed set. Um, I'll explain a little bit later <laughs> everything um, but we are like washing a lot of clothes like we are going in with the batches honey cuz you know like when your clothes starts piling up yeah it, it, it was there so right now we're gonna head to JCPenney because we now have a king bed we used to have a queen oh my bad Macy's I, I guess my mom told me that they have a sale at Macy's so I was like oh I'm going to Macy's and I never buy like colchas from like Macy's or anywhere like that. I always get them at Target, but my mom was like, no, you gotta invest in some good ones. So now that we have a king bed, uh, we're gonna buy something nice that could last us because the Target ones are cute and all, but I feel like they don't last that long, to be honest. So yeah, we're gonna go to the mall and hopefully I can get distracted a little bit because I'm trying to um, juice and my parents made pozole. Well, my, mom, my mom made pozole. I know how my mom is just like, your dad didn't make it because my dad likes to joke that he like makes all the food and whatever so yeah I decided today I woke up and I was like I want to juice for a few days just to like clean myself out you know what I mean I don't know let's like see if that or? like detox let's see if that does anything <clears throat> so yeah we're going to um, the mall 50% like, off train, huh? screaming you know chicken, should we do that or is that weird like the Hello? accents be the. I don't know. It's up to you. I don't know about that one. You, but... Or a throw one. Just a little throw one. Yeah, what if we just do like a little throw one like that? It's 50% off. Christmas. Think of it like you're only going to use it for Christmas and then after that, get rid of it. True. Well, either way, my mom just said that there's a sale though today. Our new um, headboard. It's like beige, so this would kind of go with it. And the good thing about this one, I'm noticing it has like silver and gold, just like a mix. And our room has a lot of silver in it, so that would be like a good mix. And we could like throw in a mix of like gold and gray. I don't know, it's hard to tell. <laughs> Mood, I think this is the one that caught our eye because it's really nice. And we're looking at the price regular price 420 and for sale is 249 we came on the right time that's the only one that has caught my eye let's look over here okay guys so we are back we actually were hanging out with the family earlier honestly it's actually really cute i like it we're so dumb we thought it was like i think 200 we actually ended up paying like a lot more for it but it's it pretty 200 just for this 
Another 200. These pillows were, well, 70 bucks each. It was just very expensive. Yeah. I, uh, just too through. much. It's weird because <sighs> it's like thin. I'm used to like the thick. I don't know if it's um, what we're used to. No, but this is silk. It's very fresh. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but yeah, guys. Hi, guys. So it is right now like 5 a.m. Um, Brian was asleep, you know, I was on my phone and I was like, I can't go to sleep. Um, so, since I couldn't go to sleep, I was like, well, let me just take some CBD, that's what you call it? Yeah. CBD drops. And, um, I started taking CBD drops because I heard it helps, like, for all like I, I like there's a lot of benefits with it mainly it was for like my anxiety i stress out easily you know just to calm me down in general and cbd is not meant to like give you anxiety it's supposed to calm your anxiety down right um so as you guys uh heard earlier i am like juicing or whatever and so i was like literally on an empty stomach kind of and I took the same that I always, um, I'm really trying to like calm down right now because I feel too relaxed. It's like freaking me out. Um, so I took the same amount and it hit so hard. Like it immediately, and it's funny because CBD is not supposed to do anything. It's just simply supposed to like relax you. And, um, I took some and... <laughs> It hit me hard. I was like, holy crap. Like, my jaw just felt like it locked. I was like, oh, what the hell is going on? Um, so, I started tripping out, and I was like, this can't be happening. This can't be freaking happening right now. Like, there's no way that I can, like, you know, trip on CBD. Like, how? You know, like, that's not at least what I've read. Like, it's supposed to relax you. But I guess since I had an eight... It hit so strong that I'm just like extremely like too relaxed where I'm making myself scared. Like I feel like this is the only way of distraction right now for me to like not lose my mind. Um, it's just, oh my god. <laughs> and I had to, had to have a granola bar. I was like maybe this is going to help. Like this is the stupidest thing I could have done. And um, I'm not sure if this is how I'm supposed to feel or it's because I just didn't eat. I'm like regretting it completely. I wish I could have just closed my eyes and gone to sleep with my fucking phone away. But now I'm like freaking out. But it's like my mom also has taken CBD um, oil drops or I think the gummies. I'm not sure. I think she does have the oil drops as well um, because she does also have anxiety. She can't sleep and stuff like that. Like she really has a hard time sleeping as well. So she she takes those so my best way of thinking i'm like i need to relax like if my mom takes this at night to calm her like to sleep then i should be fine too you know it's just that i feel like it just hit me really strong and people might think i'm overreacting but like i'm telling you guys i was in an empty stomach and i just feel like my back feels hot i have like this whole numbness in my back right now it just like literally i went to the restroom because i just wanted to walk around <sighs> And I, like, I don't even feel, I feel like I'm floating. It's the worst, most weird feel. Like, I just want to feel sober. Like, I don't get it. It's just like, oh my god, I don't understand. But I do not like the feeling. I'm, like, telling Brian, please search how long it's going to stay in my system. I want to cry. I don't even think tears can come out of my fucking eyes right now. This is how, like, oh my god, I know right now I'm, like, literally... A like, I want to get an anxiety attack. I feel like my body sh is shaky, but I'm so relaxed that I can't even get a fucking anxiety attack right now. But it's, I hope there's someone out there that understands because I know it's a thing to get super paranoid with weed. Um, but I didn't think it would happen with the CPT, bitch. Oh my god. But I'm trying to eat my pozole, but the food's like not staying down. It's getting me nauseous. <sighs> and it just it, it upsets it, it upsets me it upsets me that I took it in the wrong time because now I'm gonna be scared to take the oil 
that's why I'm like, why did he do that? And now I'm not going to want to take the oil because I'm going to get traumatized. I think I'm overthinking it. You're definitely overthinking it. I'm way overthinking it. I just don't like the feeling of being too relaxed. Like, it just trips me out. Like, if I don't feel like I'm grounded, like, here in this earth, like, like if I just feel like I'm literally non-existent, like, I can't, I'm, like, too relaxed, it, I, it's, how am I not going to freak out, you know what I mean? I just do not feel right. And I know CBD is supposed to relax you, but I'm way too relaxed. I feel like right now it's like I'm, I'm able to kind of snap out of it. But like as soon as I took it, I was like, holy shit, I had to wake Brian up. Had to wake him up. So here I am having a trip with CBD. I don't get it. People are going to be like, how? How is that even possible? Oh my god. Update you guys. So, um, the trip lasted for, I don't even want to say trip because I feel like people are going to fucking, oh my god, this damn thing. <sighs> okay. No, it just, it honestly came down to you just had an empty stomach and that's it. But he told me to finish the pozole, so I finished the pozole because he's like, you have to finish it because you're on an empty stomach and if you stay with empty stomach, you're going to feel it strong. So, um, I finished the cup of pozole, like, I forced it down my throat. I know CBD is supposed to also, um, control hunger and stuff, and it could actually make you, like, not hungry at all. So, lesson learned, I'm never gonna take CBD oil drops on an empty stomach, let alone not just, like, a morning empty stomach. I'm talking about a full fucking day without eating, like... My body just couldn't take it. So right now I'm just feeling like normal like any other time. I mean, I've only taken the CBD drops like a few times. But like I said, it's not supposed to do anything to you. It's supposed to simply relax you. You're not supposed to feel like literally anything, right? So right now I don't feel anything. Like I feel like I'm actually back to earth, literally. Like that's how it felt. I felt like I was not here and that's what was tripping me out. It was just simply me... Um feeling like I was floating because I was too relaxed, like, not being able to feel myself, that just gave me so much anxiety. Like, I couldn't even cry because I was too relaxed. Like, that was tripping me out. But, um, I took a nap, and, um, I started feeling, like, sensation on, like, it's so weird. Like, on my hip, I just felt, like, a little nerve pinch, and I was like, oh, I'm back to my normal body i don't know if that makes any sense like i'm back to sensation that's how strong it hit me i wasn't feeling anything like at some point i was like am i even breathing like yeah it got that bad um let me know if you guys have had that experience with cbd i know people have this experience with obviously when you you know smoke or have um edibles but um it's funny because i was like knocked out and I slowly started coming back like I just woke up and up I will I just woke up and I was like oh my god I'm back I'm obviously really tired but I definitely feel like I'm like back to earth I don't know if that makes any freaking sense but I'm gonna let you guys go good night um I was not expecting at all this to, to go I was not expecting at all for this to go down in the vlog and what you guys saw in the vlog I was very very relaxed like I was not I was acting a lot more different when the cameras were off I was just on so I could distract myself and that was really helpful but what do you think baby should I never take it again no it's just you're on an empty stomach <laughs> Brian was like knocked out was so bad he was like bitch what the fuck are you doing up at 5 a.m. and then I'm all we were panicking but thank you guys for watching um she's back honey and she's ready to knock out Mm. Hey guys, Sounds okay. Feeling better. So I'm feeling a lot better. Um, okay, I wanted to actually just literally vlog uh, again, literally steal my PJs. Now that I'm feeling fine, I wanted to like talk to you guys. So last night, um, like I told you guys, I was on my phone. I was actually watching the uh, American Influencer Awards, and it was about four hours long. So. I went to sleep like at 5, well I tried going to sleep at 5 a.m. But I noticed at this point I was just up. So I decided to take my CBD oil drops and like I mentioned earlier, I was freaking out. All of a sudden was just on my phone and out of nowhere I just felt like my jaw went forward. And I was like, ooh, this is not a good sign. I started to look around and I just didn't feel like I was on earth. That's the best way I could describe it. I did not did not want to go there. I was like, 
I'm gonna relax, just go back on your phone. Cause at this point, even if I try to tuck myself in and go to bed, you know when you're trying to fall asleep, you feel yourself falling asleep? This time I would just close my eyes and I just felt like I was non-existent. Like I just, I didn't feel nothing. And I think that's what freaked me out. So I had to wake up my husband and I was like, I know, I'm on the verge of getting like an anxiety attack because I started getting really shaky and with CBD it's supposed to make you very relaxed I'm like the fact that I'm getting shaky like I'm I'm dead ass like about to have an anxiety attack so I woke up my husband and I was like I took the drops and he was like oh god he kind of like knew knew like what was going on i was like i took the cbg drops and i'm tripping out and he was like what do you mean i'm like yeah you know how i was fasting that's really what it was and then this morning i did uh talk to my mom and karina and they were like yeah definitely it hit you really really hard because you had nothing in your system here i am actually today i am still juicing but last night i had to break the fast with a granola which i didn't finish the whole granola because i was i it did not want to go down like i honestly felt nauseous with that and brian forced me to um eat some pozole so i was like i know i don't want to eat this right now but i have to like i was trying to f like the cbd really took my hunger out away completely like it, i literally it did not want to go down and cbd sometimes can make you nauseous as well and that's exactly what was happening so i forced myself because at first i was like i'm not gonna finish the pozole not that i don't want to at this point i didn't even care about my juicing i was like i just can't like i was way too relaxed i was so even to move and like feed myself it was so bad you know i'm eating the pozole and he's telling me you have to you have to eat it like just finish it so I was like, maybe he's right. Maybe I will feel a little better if I finish the pozole. So I finished the pozole and I still felt really, really trippy. I was literally freaking out where if I was just not, I told him, I have to walk around. Like, let's go to the restroom, uh, put the TV on. Let me watch a movie. So we we're watching Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. And I was like, let me go on my phone. So I was watching The Real on my phone. I love watching that show. Nothing was really working 100% because even when I was on my phone, like watching videos, I just felt like I, I would daze off. So I was like, let me vlog. Let me just pull the camera out and tell them like how I'm feeling and maybe maybe that will distract me. So that did help. Once the cameras went off, I was like, oh God, I don't like how I feel, but I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm like trying to fall asleep, but I'm telling my husband like, hold me. I just want some, I just wanna feel like a grip because I felt like I was dead ass, like in outer space. I can't even describe it. I cannot describe the feeling because something you guys don't know, I don't smoke. Um, I feel like a lot of people know this. You guys will never see me smoking because I, I just have, I feel like I would be the kind that would get a panic attack. When I took the CBD, CBD drops, I was like, I obviously was never expecting for this to happen because CBD is just simply supposed to relax you girl. That's all it's supposed to do. At the very end, um, you guys saw that I ended up waking up and I felt great. Within like 30 minutes of taking a nap, like waking up and going to sleep, there was a point where I woke up and I woke up Brian. I was like, oh my God, Brian, I feel good again. Like I'm, I'm here again. Literally, I'm here back to earth again. Like I felt like I was here. So after I ate the pozole, once something was in my system, I was able to like balance out, I, I guess, because I've taken the CBD oil drops before. I've never had this experience. I always just feel really relaxed and I go on about my day. So that's how I started to feel again. I'm like, oh my God, I feel like I'm back to earth again. It's the weirdest feeling ever. And um, someone on Twitter actually told me they had the same experience with CBD drops. I don't know how their experience was, but for me it was 100% because I had nothing in my system for 24 hours and that was the first thing to like, boom, you know? I have to say, you know, I am still juicing right now. I broke it last night with um, some pozole, but I'm back to the juicing again. It's funny because, I don't know, if, again, because my system is empty, I still feel like um very relaxed but obviously i feel like it's definitely not as bad as it was yesterday right now i literally i feel like i have some in my system like i know i still feel relaxed but i'm grounded i feel myself you know she's a human again because she was an angel last night honey i was like bitch i'm flying around the house right now it was so bad oh my god 
but I'm feeling great you guys uh, never again am I doing that I definitely am gonna take my CBD drops I'm not gonna let it get to me because that's what I was afraid of last night I'm, I was like I'm gonna let it get to me and I'm never gonna take these drops again but I just have to be more open-minded you know like don't do it while juicing you're on an empty stomach like anything it's like it's like someone fasting and they drink a shot of alcohol that will immediately like get them fucked up you know so yeah um i'm great and i've been chilling in my pjs all day i'm like honestly i don't feel like doing much I, that that's what i'm saying i feel like it's still in my system especially because i'm juicing again so there's really nothing in me that's like getting it rid of if that makes any sense right that makes any sense so i'm relaxed but i'm gonna chill we're just working we're honestly at this point i feel like we're doing a lot of laundry and putting clothes away so it's just a chill day today and yeah she's she's feeling great but yeah y'all i hope y'all enjoyed my husband's here still laying down too hola <laughs> i think we're in the same thing as yesterday too am i yeah. I don't know. We haven't done well, shit. Well, we haven't. Yeah, we literally just. We've just been bed. doing laundry and folding yeah. clothes and, you know, the grown-up stuff. But we hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. This vlog will be up today.